Good day everybody and welcome to SCP Illustrated, Entry Log 63. Today we'll be looking at SCP-012, one of my personal favourites, because for me it just sums up all the core values of what an SCP should be. It needs to be contained, it's indiscriminative, it will result in severe injury and death, and people need to be protected from its effects. Now, this video comes with a big content warning. This video does contain extreme violence, mutilation, severe self-harm, and a lot of blood. So if you're a bit squeamish, this one might not be for you. Now, without any more further ado, let's get straight into this. Description SCP-012 was retrieved by archaeologist K.M. Sandoval during the excavation of a northern Italian tomb destroyed in a recent storm. The object, a piece of handwritten musical score entitled On Mount Golgotha, part of a larger set of sheet music, appears to be incomplete. The red-black ink, first thought to be some form of a berry or natural dye ink, was later found to be human blood from multiple subjects. The first personnel to locate the sheet, Site-19 Special Salvage, had two members descend into insanity, attempting to use their own blood to finish the composition, ultimately resulting in massive blood loss and internal trauma. Following initial investigations, multiple test subjects were allowed access to the score. In every case, the subjects mutilated themselves in order to use their own blood to finish the piece, resulting in subsequent symptoms of psychosis and massive trauma. Those subjects who managed to finish a section of the piece immediately committed suicide, declaring the piece to be impossible to complete. Attempts to perform the music have resulted in a disagreeable cacophony, with each instrumental part having no correlation or harmony with the other instruments. Special Containment Procedures SCP-012 is to be kept in a darkened room at all times. If the object is exposed to light or seen by personnel using a light frequency other than infrared, Remove personnel for mental health screening and immediate physical. Object is to be encased in an iron shielded box, suspended from the ceiling with a minimum clearance of 2.5 meters from the floor, walls, and any openings. Additional files available, level 4 access required. The original SCP-012 test logs have been stricken from the official record due to intervention from the Ethics Committee. The test logs are only available to those of level 4 or higher clearance. Administrator clearance accepted. Test logs for SCP-012 available. Test log 012-1. Subject is D-6743, male, 24, convicted of two counts of murder. D-6743 was ushered into the containment chamber of SCP-012. SCP-012 was lowered and the containment case remotely opened. D-6743 was instructed to approach SCP-012. Upon viewing SCP-012, D-6743 appeared to suffer a sudden, single convulsion before plunging his thumb into his forearm. After enough pressure was applied, the nail cut through the flesh, and D-6743 began using his blood and fingers to add additional notes to SCP-012. D-6743 continued to cut through veins and arteries for a further two minutes before saying it's impossible to complete, and then collapsing. D-6743 deceased. Cause of death? Rapid blood loss resulting in a fatal drop in blood pressure. Test Log 012-2 Subject is D-4368 Male, 48 Convicted of rape and three counts of murder. D-4368 had his finger and toenails surgically removed, was treated, and was then ushered into SCP-012's containment chamber. SCP-012 was lowered and the containment case was opened remotely. D-4368 was then instructed to approach SCP-012. D-4368 began biting chunks out of his flesh with his teeth while speaking incoherently. He bit off all the fingers on his left hand and used the blood to add additional notes to SCP-012. D-4368 continued this for a further four minutes before stopping and announcing the composition could not be finished. He then began biting through the veins and arteries in his arm and within three minutes collapsed. D-4368 deceased. Cause of death? Rapid blood loss resulting in a fatal drop in blood pressure. 
Test log 012-3. Subject is D1654, female, 45, convicted of the torture and murder of her child. D1654 had all her nails and teeth surgically removed, was treated, and then ushered into SCP-012's containment chamber. SCP-012 was lowered, and D1654 was instructed to approach SCP-012. Upon viewing SCP-012, D-1654 became hysterical and began striking the containment capsule housing SCP-012. The striking of the capsule loosened a screw which D-1654 wrenched out and then used to gouge her eyes out. One was removed easily with little damage to the eye. The second eye ruptured and was pulled out by force, also pulling out the optic nerve along with it causing severe brain trauma. D-1654 immediately expired. D-1654 deceased. Cause of death? Severe trauma to the brain caused by forcibly pulling out the optic nerve. Test log 012-4. Subject is D-4901. Female, 26. Convicted of seven counts of murder as a result of a DUI. D-4901 had all her nails and teeth surgically removed, was treated, and had her hands cuffed behind her back and was then ushered into SCP-012's containment chamber. SCP-012 was lowered and D-4901 was instructed to approach SCP-012. D-4901 approached SCP-012 saying she had to complete the song. D-4901 was observed turning in circles and scratching her face along the edges of the containment capsule. D-4901 then began hitting her head against the containment capsule with increasing force. A security team was prepped to terminate D-4901 to prevent damage to SCP-012's containment capsule when D-4901 succumbed to her injuries and fell to the floor. D-4901 deceased. Cause of death, massive impact trauma to the brain. Test log 012-5. Subject is D-6632, male, 28, convicted of paedophilia and four counts of murder. D-6632 had all his nails and teeth surgically removed, was treated, had his hands cuffed behind his back and was then ushered into SCP-012's containment chamber. D-6632 was secured on a metal chain to prevent him from getting close to SCP-012. SCP-012 was lowered and the containment case was opened remotely. D-6632 appeared extremely agitated and fell to his knees complaining of hearing voices. When asked about the voices, D-6632 replied that he had to complete the song. He then wrapped the metal chain around his neck and pushed forward with force until he expired. D-6632 deceased. Cause of death? Suffocation via crushed trachea. Test log 012-6 Subject is D-7911, male, 31, convicted of torture, hate crimes and multiple homicide. D-7911 was clothed in a straitjacket, secured to a chair and then placed within SCP-012's containment chamber by another D-class who was recovered before the test began. SCP-012 was then lowered and the containment capsule was opened remotely. D-7911 began thrashing his head around and screaming about finishing the song. D-7911 did not reply to any questions from the research team and soon expired. D-7911 deceased. Cause of death? Unknown. It is assumed that the extensive head shaking caused severe trauma to the brain. Further testing denied by the ethics committee. And that concludes SCP-012. I hope you've enjoyed it and be sure to like and subscribe if you did. The next video is going to be SCP-012 versus SCP-682. Uh, be sure to join the Twitter and the Facebook for all the information on when that video is going to be coming out. And if you can't wait that long, want more videos and want to show some love for the channel, then please become a Patreon today. You get access to the Patreon exclusive SCP illustrated videos and sketches, uh, tales and canon readings, early access to every video, your own requests. See all the sketches, get access to our Discord, your name in every video, private chats and a lot more. And thank you to Grant Lasher, Andre Bashert, Hydro Hysteria, Sam B., Sugar Free Shane, Eric, Kavamaram, and Jared Theok. And special thanks to Steffi for sponsoring the channel. And I'll see you all soon, guys. Take care.